To turn Slacker on, hit the power button. To reset it to zero, hit the power button. Double dashes means you are out of range. Push the power button for five seconds to turn it off or it will turn off after five minutes automatically. This system is based on taking the sag measurement across the arc of the axle. Take the included cable and pinch it at the swing arm pivot and the center of the rear axle. Swing the axle end up to reveal the travel of the axle. Then place the clip where the arc meets the side plate. You can also drill a small hole in the lip of the plate if desired. Next, attach the main unit with the magnet centered on the axle. Hook the cable on the clip and turn slacker on. Make sure it is angled with the cable. If you're using the remote display, just connect the cable to the main unit, then tuck it under the seat or plastics to avoid snagging it with your boot. Then strap the remote on the bars or crossbar pad where it's easy to view when seated on the bike. Connect the other end of the cable to the remote and you're ready to take your measurements. On forks, just center it on the axle and place the clip on the front plate. Angle the clip to keep the brake cable from hitting it when you bounce the bike. Then just hook the cable on the clip and turn slacker on. Roll the bike next to a wall or your van and place your elbow against it to balance. Then bounce the bike and sit in the attack position with your feet on the pegs to get the best measurement. Then step off the bike and note the reading. This is your static sag and will let you know if you're running the correct springs. Checking your sag regularly is a key to a fun, fast, and predictable bike. You should check your sag as part of your regular bike prep or at least every other ride. For more information and recommended sag settings, visit motool.co. That's motool.co.